Hey guys, this is Gina, Archangel Arch Studio, and tonight I am attempting another acrylic pour. I know you all saw my last not so good one. Sorry, I'm putting on my glove. Um, and I'm not going to be defeated by this, so we're trying it again. I found some awesome, awesome paint. Um, it's called Arteza. It is heavy body, thick, gorgeous paint. Um, I'll put a link in the description, but the colors are just awesome. So that's what I'm using tonight, and I'm using their Phalo Green. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that's what I think it said. And Gold. And a Purple. And of course white and I put a couple drops of silicone in the white and I'm doing a dirty pour so once I'm finished with it I'm going to show you how to dip cabochons to make jewelry I'd said I would do a video on jewelry and I haven't yet so I'm gonna show you a brief little something on that so I've already mixed my paint and those colors are gorgeous to me and they're already selling up because of the silicone and the white so I can't decide dirty pour or flip cup I don't know how to do either so <laughs> let's go dirty pour and see what happens so fingers crossed move my stuff out of the way so it doesn't get all messy and here we go Well, I definitely, definitely, definitely love these colors. Oh, look at that. So pretty. Let's hit it with the torch a little bit. And you can see little cells popping up. And lacing already. Oh, this is awesome. I like it. Now, if it will just stay pretty, I don't think I want to tilt it. I'm not a good tilter. So, let me try the hairdryer. tilting because I just love how this looks. I don't know why I did that right there, but whatever. So let's do some tilting here. And if I tilt the pretty off of this like I did that other one, I'm going to be so mad. Because the other one started out pretty cool. And I just tilted it off. But I think this is going to be a winner. At least to me. Okay. Look. I love this. Oh my gosh. I love the colors. I love the look. I'm happy with this. I'm not real crazy about down here. Let's see if I can need more that will come out of here. And I want a little bit of purple and gold. But it's not coming, so let's see if I can tilt it some. There, 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 there. I 
Okay. What do you think? I love these little group of cells here. And there's some there. And I just love this. I love the colors. I love the look. I am happy with this. It's definitely better than that first attempt. Man, if I'd have done this good on the contest with Billy, I could have won that thing. Or I think I could because I really like this. So what do you think? Yay? Nay? Maybe? Take these gloves off and get some more. And now what I'm going to do is dip some cabochons in the drips to make some jewelry. And what I'm using, oh, and they're sticking together, I'm using a dowel with some silly putty type Loctite stuck to the top and all you do is stick your cabochon on like that just make sure that it's on there really good and you find a spot in the paint that you think is really pretty and you lightly dip it don't dunk it down in it just lightly dip it and bring it straight up and then I always just twirl it. Can you see how that looks? And then what I do, this has got a pointy end on it. On it. <laughs> I can't tell. Is I stick it in a styrofoam, a piece of styrofoam that I have, and I let it dry. And that is how simple dipping cabs, I call them cabs, dipping cabs are to make jewelry. So I kind of like this spot. Hmm. Let's see. I like this spot right here. You see, that's not what it looks like on the other side. I can't really show you the other side very well. But once it dries, it's super pretty. It kind of takes the pattern of the runoff, or it does take the pattern of the runoff, and it puts it on the cap. So I'm going to do some from this angle because there's some pretty under here. I wonder if I can move this. Oy. without making a mess and get some dip right in here and there you go you've got a pretty cab but that's that's pretty much it so you can also do skins for the, your jewelry and Honestly, I use the ones from Billy's Resin when it's not completely set up hard because it's hard to cut then. But I'll get it and I'll cut it to fit here. You glue it on and that's pretty much it. But I really like this way a lot better. I think you get some more awesome colors. It sets up really well, and it's easier, I think. So much easier. But, you know, it's preference. Um, I don't want his acrylic drippings to, or not acrylic, his resin drippings to go to waste, and some of it's just super gorgeous. So, I use it, but sometimes I let it get a little bit hard, and it's hard to cut when it gets too hard. But I've got some awesome scissors that really make that easier. I know you can't see that probably, but that is a gorgeous cab. 
and I'll show you some I did this way um, the last the the video uh, that we had the competition I did some with the the runoff and it turned out gorgeous the picture wasn't <laughs> the painting wasn't pretty but the cabs were awesome so let me do this one last one. I want to see. I think I've got some pretty under here too. Oops. Got that little to the side. Okay. And I'll show you what those look like. Because I thought they were, they turned out great. So hang on, let me take this glove off and get all this paint off, and I'll show you those. Now you'll remember that picture was, well, it was hideous. But look at the cabs that it produced. See how pretty that is? There's another one. So something good came of that picture. I am making some very pretty magnets with these. But I love this. Look how those sails are popping out since I've been dipping my cabochons. The gold white. I really like this piece. I'm super excited. And I can show Billy. Well, maybe I shouldn't show Billy. What do you think? I shouldn't show Billy and challenge him to an acrylic pour-off because he doesn't use acrylic. He's a resin guy, so I think maybe I might could win. What do you think? Well, that's it for tonight. Oh, I had some under here I wanted to use. Well, and now I got my hand in it. Well, that's it. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell so you'll get notifications whenever we do new videos. Um, we've got some plans to do some pretty awesome videos. Hopefully, we'll get them worked out. And we appreciate all of our subscribers. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my second acrylic pour. I know my first one was a train wreck, but... I think this one's a home run. So let me know what you think. You people out there who have a lot more experience than I do, tell me if I did a good job or what I could do to improve because I definitely want to improve. And I'm just gonna hit this a little bit more. Pops out a few more sails. And that's it. We're done. So I'll put the link in the description for the products I used. And until next time, later tater.